Study well, rest best, and pray the most. I say that often in my videos, but when it comes to reviewing, I really mean it. Yo, I'm Quiet Mike, and I just wanted to take this moment to talk about what it really means to study well, rest best, and pray the most. I say it at the end of all my videos, but do you really take the time to think about it? I remember after the first time I failed my NCLEX, someone else had passed theirs. One of my batchmates. My friend, she spent a month, just a month I think, a little bit over a month to prepare for her NCLEX, and she passed in one go. She had just taken the NLE, the Philippine Board Exam for nursing, and soon after taking her NLE, she studied for the NCLEX and she passed. Then soon after passing, she mentioned what she did in order to pass. What she did within a month or so, and how in the end, she actually ended up getting her license. As a close friend, I was very proud of her. But at the same time, I found myself comparing my skills and my ability to pass the NCLEX with hers. Before she had taken the NLE, I had just failed my NCLEX. So she knows that I failed the NCLEX. And the only advice that I could give to her at that time is just keep doing questions. It's interesting because I didn't even take my own advice. Seriously. I compared myself to her. And of course, if she was able to pass it in a certain way, I would like to, of course, try to do it that same way so that I too can pass. But then I continued to read through her testimony and realized how much she really put into every single day. How many hours she put in and how many questions she did. How she focused on one topic per day or she dedicated this kind of subject to these amount of days. I thought that I couldn't do those things because for me, yes, I believe that God works well through people. But for me, that's not my style. I can't go in there six hours a day and study. That's just not the way I'm able to review. In the end, what she did to study well and what I did to study well in order to pass our NCLEXs, respectively, was totally different. For her, studying well means being able to compact everything into a month or so and be able to do it diligently and be able to keep at it over and over again, hour after hour with some breaks in between and just hit at it and just get it all in one go. And then for me, it took how many months before I actually passed? We'll just count after the second time. April, May, June, July, and then August I took my exam. So unlike my friend, I took four months to study well and actually pass my exam. So for any of you who have been listening to different kinds of testimonies about how people wind up passing, something may just work differently for you. You guys may have the same materials, you guys may have went to the same school, you guys may be taught the same things, but some things just work differently for others. When it comes to studying well, some people just study differently. Some people may only be able to do one or two hours a day. Other people may be able to do six to eight hours a day. You really have to find out what works best for you. So study well. Don't try to be what everybody else is trying to do and don't try to study how everybody else is studying. You know what works best for you. If you know that you can't cram it all in a day, don't try to be that person. Don't try to be something you're not. You're not gonna benefit that way. Rest best. When it comes to reviewing for the NCLEX, it also takes effort. So you're not only going to work smart, you know, knowing the things that you really need to study for, knowing what your study style is, what works best for you, but you also need to be able to work hard. Studying for the NCLEX is like exercise, like trying to be able to train yourself to do a marathon. You gotta spend like every single day, wake up each morning, or at least every other morning to be able to run consistently every day to make sure that you're actually doing something each day to accomplish building up your stamina, building up your endurance so that in the end you can actually run that marathon. Same thing for the NCLEX. You know, you gotta push yourself a little bit harder each day or at least at the same pace to make sure that you can still keep that stamina. You can still keep doing 10, 20, 25 questions, 50 questions, 75 questions, 100 questions. So it does take effort, it does take your will, and it does take a lot of energy. I admire those people who can do 150 questions of critical thinking. But me, I know I can't do that. When it comes down to the exam, of course I'm gonna have to suck it up. But doing that daily, for me, I know that would definitely tire me out. So know yourself and be aware of what you can and can't handle. Like lifting up weights. If you know you can't pick up or you can't bench press 150 pounds, don't try to be that person in the gym you know who's not able to pick up that amount of weight. Don't be ashamed if you can only do 25, 30, 50 at a time. Take your breaks. 
This isn't nursing school anymore. If there's anything you picked up from nursing school, it should be about time management. Sometimes in the middle of my practice test, I would stop, take a break, and then go right back at it. I knew that I could take a break at any time during the NCLEX anyway. So yeah, so take a break when you need to. Resting is not being lazy. Just because you take the time to rest doesn't necessarily mean that you're lazy. Nurses may work three consecutive days, and then what do they do after they go to work? They go home, they go to sleep, and what are they doing? Resting. Resting, when I think used properly, can definitely boost your productivity. Because if you get no rest, what can you really accomplish after accumulating so much workload over a long period of time? You're just gonna burn out. If you think your ratio from rest to productivity is like out of balance, if you think you get a lot more rest than you do productivity, listen, all I can say is make sure you accomplish something at the end of your study day. Make sure you can do something you're proud of. Somehow hold yourself accountable because in the end, you can't blame anybody else for how you perform on the NCLEX. When I took my final exam, I said to God, hey, this is all I have, this is all I can work with. Just let me be able to remember and be able to utilize the things that I learned over the four months that I've actually spent time studying. And also keep in mind that the day before your exam, ideally, you're not going to cram everything onto one session just before the day of your exam or even in the parking lot right on the day of your exam. Rest! You know, you didn't study a year, you know, you didn't study for a month or a couple months just so that you can start cramming in the middle of the parking lot. You've done your part. You already know what you're into. You already know what to expect. Just let it go and leave it all in God's hands. And now we're brought to pray the most. Whether you're religious or not, I don't know what happens to you or what your first reaction is when some kind of disaster or some kind of tragedy is right there in your face or some kind of impending sense of doom is at you. My first reaction is to pray to God. If there's anything that I learned about praying, it's that you don't have to wait until the last minute when some trouble goes down for you to pray. Like reviewing for this exam, I had a lot of time to prepare. I had months to prepare for this exam. It would be foolish of me to think that I could just review the night before my exam and still pass the next day. I could have wasted months not learning anything, not preparing for anything, not developing my mind, building my stamina, or you even get my brain going, getting it sharpened. That wouldn't be the wisest decision for me to do. And for me, I am a Christian, and I do believe that you know prayer comes daily. As much as I can, I pray morning and night. When I pray, I pray specifically. I let him know that I want knowledge, you know, I want the understanding, and I want to be able to comprehend and ultimately pass his exam. And I pray and I trust that he will help me get through it all. If I trusted him since day one of my review, if I kept praying since day one of my review, all the way up to what? Four times three, 120, 120 days? It may be 100 days of review. Again, I emphasize that this exam is more than just pass or fail. You learn from day one of your review that it's going to be a challenge, it's going to be a struggle, and it's going to be a journey. You're going to realize that there are some days that you just can't do it and that you can only amount to this much. Some days you can do greater things, some days you'll just be out of it. But I can definitely tell you that preparing for this exam is not preparing the day before the exam. And in the end, if there's anything that you take away from my videos, I just want to leave you with a thought to study well, rest best, and pray the most. No one else is going to help you do these things except for yourself and God. And that's what I believe. So that's something I just wanted to share. So with that said, study well, rest best, and pray the most. Thanks for watching.